Hey everyone, Kimberly here with another 10 minute tidbit for high performance. And today we are going to talk about energy. Hmm. Energy. In what fashion are we going to talk about energy? We are going to talk about energy drains. What drains your energy? So let's think about this for a minute. If you wake up in the morning and you are left to your own devices, you meaning your, let, let's say you wake up on vacation, right? You have no responsibilities. You have something beautiful to look at. You have something amazing planned. You're just waking up. You're, you're free as a bird. You have no, nothing to worry about, right? If we could wake up that way every day, it would be amazing. And I wish for all of us that someday we can do that on a regular basis. But if we're living not on vacation every day, then there are things that we are exposing ourselves to. There are things that we are doing probably that drains our energy. And do you know what they are? So the first thing I would say is we all know that to have good energy, physical, mental, and emotional energy, to feel good, we need to get enough sleep, right? And I'm not a doctor. I don't know what that means to you, your body, and you know what your body needs. So are you getting enough sleep? Are you cheating yourself by staying up and doing that thing, watching TV or reading the book or binging on Netflix? Are you staying up too late that you are not getting enough sleep? Another thing that drains your energy is foods that you can't digest, right? If your body is working so hard to digest foods that are not meant for you, then it's draining your energy. Again, not a doctor, but I'm a human and I know what foods work for me and what foods don't work for me. So if you're finding that you feel bad after you're eating, but you really haven't correlated, maybe you just thought, oh, it's the time of day. I'm always tired at two o'clock or something. You know, maybe it's because you've digested food to the point where you're feeling bad after that, or you always feel bad at 10 a.m. after you digest a breakfast or whatever the case may be. Perhaps I invite you to look at the food you're eating and to keep track of how you're feeling after you're eating certain foods. Um, if you're feeling drained, to keep a little log, keep a little journal of what those foods are, liquids included, right? Are you even drinking enough water? The body needs water. Are you drinking enough water? I know water is not the most exciting thing to drink. Maybe you can spice it up by putting some flavor in it, right? But put ice in it, whatever. But are you drinking enough water? So, you know, we need sleep. We need food. We need uh, liquid. Another thing that drains our energy, and this is a big one, and this is my 10-minute tidbit for today because you knew the other two, right? It's social media, my friend. I'm sorry. I'm going to call a spade a spade. It is social media. We get on social media and it is other people's agendas of what they want us to know about their life, of what they want us to know about why we're not successful, about what they want us to know about what we should buy that they're offering. And I'm not saying that any of that is bad as long as it's not making you feel bad about yourself, as long as it's not draining you, as long as it's not capturing you for way too long. Because physically looking at your phone or physically looking at your computer for that kind of intense amount of time, for whatever that amount of time is, that's taxing on your body physically, right? It's taxing on your eyes. It's taxing on your brain. Because everything you're digesting, you have to think about, do I agree with it? Do I don't agree with it? Do I like it? Do I not like it? Do I comment? Do I not comment? It, it's it can be. It can be exhausting. So look at, I suggest, I offer, to look at what is happening every time you think you're picking up your phone to get a little break. You're picking up your phone to find some entertainment. You're picking up your phone to give yourself a little distraction. Is that distraction draining you? 
or not. I'm not here to suggest it always is or it never is. I think there you're going to find that the more time you spend on social media, you're going to find it's probably draining you. And this is why. When you're on social media, you're not in the present moment. You're not thinking about your body. You're not thinking about your surroundings. You're not thinking about the people around you. You're not engaging with life. You're not engaging with your life. You're engaging with someone else's life. And when you don't engage with your own life, that my friend, 100% hands down is draining. Can't argue it, it's draining. So my 10 minute tidbit for you today is pay attention to what you're not giving your body that it needs, the sleep, the food, the water, because that right off the bat's going to drain you, and pay attention to what other things you're engaging in that you think are going to give you a boost, that you think are going to give you a distraction, but are really draining you. And um, I'm going to throw television in with social media. Think about, find out for yourself what is actually draining you so that you have the power to undo it. Alrighty, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this 10 minute tidbit. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found something useful in it for you. And if you would like to put any comments or questions below, please do so. And if you would like to connect, you can find me at Kimberly Trebs, T-R-E-F-Z at gmail.com. I would love to continue the conversation with you. Love to hear what you have to say about it. And until next time, take control of what's draining your energy.